here you see some instructions from Simpson Strong Tie about installing their epoxy. First thing I'd like to notice, of course, is you drill the hole. The second thing is you have to blow the hole out with compressed air, and 80 psi uh, air pressure is quite a bit, so it does blow a whole lot of dust. Next thing is you take what we call a bottle brush, and then you brush out the hole four cycles, and then you need to blow it out again. Now the problem with this procedure is it does produce silica dust, and silica dust is very dangerous. Right now I'll be showing you two systems for extracting dust from these tie-down holes. And one is the one you just saw here, which is recommended by Simpson Strong Tie and FEMA P1100. And the other one uses a dust extraction system that uses hollow core drill bits and a vacuum. These bits are made by Boschen and Hilti. So once you look at these two systems, you can decide for yourself which one you think is the safest. As you can see here, using the method for blowing out tie-down holes, using the instructions in P1100 can be hazardous. In order to do this, you must use a special P100 masks that are very well sealed, and it's not always something you can count on for contractors to do that, and it will expose them to very serious health hazards. Now, it is possible to use that system, uh, however, there are a lot of regulations that OSHA has set in place. And the problem is, you know, this booklet right here on how to do it is 95 pages long. And there aren't very many contractors who are going to want to go through the, you know, the record keeping and the, 
you know, the it, it's just ridiculous. Every single job, you have to keep records of, you know, how much silica dust is in the air, and it just goes on and on. So from a contractor point of view, and from a safety point of view overall, using this system with the vacuum is uh, much easier and much safer. Now that you've looked at both ways of removing dust from tension tie holes, you can decide for yourself which way you would like to go. However, you must remember that if you're going to use FEMA P1100, the minimum installation requirement is the one that creates all the dust. Now, if you want to use the other system, you can go ahead and do it as provided by P1100. You just need to consult your design professional.